Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss functions related to business and economics. And first, we have cost function, the total cost of producing, x units of a commodity. is denoted by a function c is equal to c of x explicitly and f of c x is equal to 0 in the implicit form and is called the cost function or total cost function it consists of two parts one is fixed cost It is independent of the quantity produced that is it does not change with various levels of production and remains constant at all levels of output and include rent, insurance, interest, depreciation, etc. Second is the variable cost. It depends upon the amount of output and varies with it that is it keeps on varying As levels of production vary and include material cost, labor cost, advertising expenses, etc. Thus, the fixed cost is independent of X and variable cost is directly proportional to x
here c is the cost curve and this portion of the total cost represents the fixed cost so we can say that total cost is equal to fixed cost plus variable cost that is total cost c is equal to fixed cost f plus variable cost v and the cost function that is c is equal to c of x which can be written as f plus v of x the graph of the cost function c is equal to c of x is called the cost curve and the fixed cost is determined by the intersection of the cost curve with the cost axis that is the value of c when x is equal to 0 let us take an example if the cost function is given by c of x is equal to 2 into x raised to power 4 Plus five by three into x raised to power three plus x plus twice of e plus five. Then here the fixed cost is given by c of zero. That is, we put the value of x as zero in c of x and we get twice of e plus five. And variable cost is given by. Two into x raised to power four plus five by three into x raised to power three plus x. Now we are going to discuss demand function. Demand function is said to represent the functional relationship between demand and price of a commodity the demand for a product is considered to be dependent on its price only though it depends upon the number of factors such as taste of the consumer quality price disposable income wealth etc but all the factors other than the price are taken as constant to facilitate the study of the demand function if x is the number of units demanded by a consumer at a price p per unit then demand function is written explicitly as x is equal to f of p and in implicit form as f of x p is equal to 0 in demand function x is equal to f of p that is x is the dependent variable
and the value of x is greater than equal to 0 p is the independent variable and the value of p is greater than equal to 0 as demand and price cannot be negative now as price increases demand decreases and as price decreases demand increases hence the demand curve is a decreasing curve next we have revenue function let us define revenue first revenue can be defined as the amount of money received from the sales of goods It depends upon the selling price of the product and the actual quantity sold. Therefore, total revenue is equal to quantity sold into selling price per unit of the commodity If R is the total revenue, and P is equal to S of X, the any demand function, where P is price per unit of a certain commodity when x units are sold Therefore, the total revenue are is given by R of X is equal to P into X. Now, the demand function is P is equal to F of X. Therefore, the total revenue function R of X becomes X into F of X. Now we are going to discuss profit function as profit is the difference of the total revenue and total cost. That is, profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost Therefore, profit function That is, P of X can be expressed as P of X is equal to R of X 
minus of c of x where c of x is the total profit where r of x is the total revenue received on selling x units of the commodity and c of x is the total cost on producing on marketing x units of the commodity Now we shall discuss the break even point. It is a point of no profit, no loss. At this point, a company begins to earn a profit. So we can say that it is that point where total revenue equals total cost we know that profit that is P of x is equal to total revenue that is R of x minus total cost that is C of x for the value of x greater than zero at break even point. P of x is equal to zero, which implies that R of x is equal to C of x, the value of x obtained on solving this equation determines the break even point. Graphically, break-even point is the point of intersection of the revenue curve and the cost curve. Before the break-even point, a company faces loss. At the break-even point, a company begins to earn a profit. Therefore, this area is called loss area and the area after the break-even point is called the profit area. The general equation for finding break even point is S is equal to SC plus VC where S denotes sales. SC is the fixed cost, and VC is the variable cost. The variable cost VC, fixed cost SC, and sales S are used. 
for finding company's break even point This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.